Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with a three card spread for all zodiac signs for July 14th, 2019. I have three cards here for you. We have the Two of Swords, the King of, um, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords, and the Chariot. Okay, for the first one, this card, when you get this card, you see the woman with her back to the water, and the water is looking kind of murky. It's not still, it's not calm. There's jagged edges, so if she flips backwards, she's going to crack her head on these little sharp rocks. She's got her arms crossed, meaning she is at a crossroads. Okay, she's got her blindfold on, meaning that she's in decision. This is the card of indecision, not knowing what decision to make or which road to take. So a lot of you could be facing that decision. Um... It could be in a relationship with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and you're not sure what de which decision to take, which direction to go. You might be having problems with this person, and you're deciding whether to leave or whether to go. Uh, so you're pretty much feeling like undecided. Um, you're kind of feeling confused. There might be some type of confusion, or that person might be feeling that way about you. But most likely, you're the one that's feeling that way. Um, you could also have stalled no negotiations, like uh, there's a decision at work that needs to be decided, but it's stalled. I see court cases that are stalled. There's no, um, it's like a hung jury, maybe. Um, I also see some people not knowing which way to turn in their, towards, towards their life, what decision to make that would be better for them. Um, just feeling completely on hold when you get this card. Okay. So for the next one, the Queen of the Queen of Swords. Let's see if I can get into focus. The Queen of Swords. She's a person that gives counsel. So a lot of you might be seeking counsel. You might be asking for help, maybe from your boss, your relative, a sibling, maybe a best friend, husband, or wife. I'm still seeing Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this card represents someone that's had like hard knocks in your life. You you've um have suffered difficult situations but you can still hold your own because you see how she's holding the or it could be a, a king too but it's a queen uh holding the the sword upright so that shows um she's still in control of her life and there's a bird in the background so there's messages coming in okay so anytime you see a bird that means there's messages coming in but um it's showing that once you get good counsel, that you'll be able to make a decision. And I'm feeling that a lot of people during this Mercury retrograde are going to be feeling this way because um, Mercury retrograde is a redo planet, and that makes us redo stuff, redo stuff in our life. It makes us close things out. Relationships, jobs, friendships, you know, whatever is no longer serving us for our higher good. So Mercury retrograde makes us close things out so the next thing that's coming into our life can come in but like i said one door can't open if you got one you got to close one door for the next door to open that's what i'm trying to say so once you make a decision here with this card and and you get the knowledge that you need to make this decision then you got the chariot Okay, with a chariot, you see uh, this person is traveling. You could be traveling with someone um, out of town, but I see that the, the decision, once you made a decision, it's going to be successful. Because you see how he's in this chariot and there's no reins. So he's pretty much controlling it himself with his own willpower. And of course, he's got his sword wand here and he's holding it upright, always means power, control. Okay, so if you're going on a journey, if you're, whatever decision you're making, you know, even in, in life, it's a journey. So whatever decision you make, it's going to come out in great success. But you got to get to that phase. You got to close those old, old doors out, or let go of those old energies so new energies can come in. So a lot of you can be involved with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or you could be involved with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You could be traveling with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But once you make that decision on whatever it is that's bothering you, it could be you know your workplace, or a, in a relationship, friendship, uh, and you're undecided about that decision you need to make. Once you you've decided and made that decision, then the rest of your journey is going to be successful. 
Uh, maybe you're deciding to start a new job. If that's what you're doing, I would wait till after Mercury retrograde. Uh, Mercury goes direct on August 2nd, so then it's, that's a good time to make a decision and start new things. I wouldn't start a new relationship or a new job during Mercury retrograde because then you're going to have to redo that one as well. Wait till Mercury goes direct on August 2nd, and then you can start new things from there. It's okay to close things out. But don't start nothing new until after Mercury goes direct again. When I say direct, that means when the planet starts moving in the right direction. Because right now it's standing still. Okay, and that's what causes the retrograde. So once the planet goes direct and starts moving around the sun again, then the energies change and everything goes back to normal. And you'll have success. That's what this card here is showing, that you'll have success in whatever decision that you make. You just got to wait for that phase to pass. But there is help out there. There is help coming. There's messages coming through with the help that you need. You might be getting a message from your counselor, from your lawyer, that maybe you um, are going to win the case. You might be getting a message from your job that you will be getting a raise, but it won't be just like right now. It might be in the next month of August. Um, you might be getting messages from your husband or wife you know maybe something was wrong with them but now they're changing for the better um you might be getting messages from your school that you passed the test or you know things are gonna your grades are changing for the better that you're gonna go ahead and graduate you're gonna pass or you know whatever but whatever messages are coming they're gonna end up in success it's just that you gotta wait a little bit for this phase to pass okay so that is your reading, your quick short message for July 14th, 2019, all zodiac signs. Um, those of you that are undecided about something, seek counsel first. So that way you can make a, a good decision about which way you want to go so you can land in success. Uh, it's okay to close, thing, close things out during Mercury, ret Mercury retrograde. Sorry, I can't talk. But don't start nothing new until after August 1st, okay? If you're going to purchase anything, whether it be a car or a house or sign any contract, wait till August 2nd, after August 2nd, and then go ahead and do so. Don't do it during Mercury Retrograde because it will come out a disaster. Also, if you're having surgery, unless it's life-threatening and you have to have it right away, you know, then go ahead and do so. But if it's something you can put off for a little while, I'm not a doctor or nurse, so I can't tell you what to do. I'm not a counselor, but this is just advice. I would wait till after August 2nd, 2019. Okay, so please, please, please subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends about me and come back for another reading, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.